your friend Snibs again. Out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. Um, starting to get to be that time of year when, uh, by the time I get home from work at night, during the weeknights, it's uh, <laughs> too dark to, or getting close to being too dark to go out and do anything. So, probably going to be stuck inside doing a lot of shooting from inside for <laughs> the next couple of months anyway. But uh, I wanted to do a review on this one that I recently, you saw me unbox it, had a mail call with it. Um, <clears throat> what we have here is a Daisy Model 1140. Uh, can't, can't get it to focus, but um, this is a, basically a rebranded uh, Game O Model P800. <clears throat> they still have a, a, another model called the P900, which has actually got a little bit longer barrel, but I think the frame is pretty much the same, and it's a nitro piston. <clears throat> the P800 and this one is a spring piston, and uh, I did some testing on it uh, before I started up the video. Uh, a couple things. Um, it, the, t the trigger is not terrible on it. It is pretty heavy. And I did do some trigger pulls on it, uh, an average of, I think, four or five pulls. And I ended up with four pounds, I think, 10 ounce average. But uh, it's, it's really not a terrible trigger, though. Uh, the feel of it is not too bad. It's just heavy, not a lot of creep. You just got to manage that squeeze, and uh, it, it'll shoot really good. <clears throat> so uh, that's uh, the, the trigger pull on it. Um, I may play around with it in the future, uh, but being that it's kind of a collectible gun, I don't know if I really want to try tearing it apart if, unless it really needs to be. So, uh, but like I said, it's it's not terrible, and uh, it's it's consistent. That's the thing. That's when you're shooting. That's what you want is consistency. If it was all over the place, uh, it might be worth looking into. Or if it was real gritty feeling, uh, but it's pretty. It's very smooth. It's just. Just a real heavy, uh, and but it just a managed squeeze and it and it cock breaks over. So, um, <clears throat> but it's it's a pretty cool gun. Uh, I'm no expert in Daisy serial numbers, and they had a lot of, or, not, or I don't think they had serial numbers so much as uh, lot numbers or yeah, <clears throat> that core lot codes, and this one it does end in nine nine, which I believe may indicate that this was made in 1999 which would be about the right time of that these were manufactured uh, I believe they were right around <clears throat> I had read they were mid mid to late 2000s only a year or so though or mid to late 1990s but they were only actually offered for a year or maybe a little bit more than that <clears throat> so they are very uncommon, uh, almost to a rare, <laughs> a rarity. And uh, the P800s were a dime a dozen. And you can still find those uh, if you look on eBay. So if you're looking for one, just something cheap to shoot, that's actually a decent little shooter. Um, you might find one of these for a decent price. I found this one for actually for a decent price. But uh, you'll find a P800 for probably even less. So, but... Uh, I did shoot uh, did shoot some shots across the chronograph and uh, it's no powerhouse but uh, it was averaging I think around 330 or something I'll put a, a picture of the uh, results up here uh, very very tight for especially for a little cheapo budget thing like this it had a very tight shot spread uh, only about nine feet per second top to bottom um, so that's pretty good and I was shooting that with seven grain Meister Coogans. <coughs> so I'll go ahead and I've got a uh, target set up across the garage here. We'll do a couple of shots at that target offhand. Um, again, I got these, I like shooting these Meister Coogans. They're really good in these pellet guns, these air pistols. But uh, let's see what we can do. Like I said, uh, it, you can manage the squeeze uh, it, it, it can be a very consistent shooter so let's see what we can do I did put my uh, orange dot on the uh, the front sight post 
so I can see what I'm doing. That one was a little high. It just figures every time I get on camera, I get, get gun shy here and have a hard time uh, controlling my point of aim. <laughs> this thing is, so I'm working on another can. Just about got it cut, but I took it down from the target box so I could do this video and shoot into a target here. All right, it looks like those last two went into about the same hole. They're shooting a little bit high. One thing, this does have uh, adjustments for windage, but it doesn't have any adjustment for elevation. So I have to adjust accordingly with my eyes. All right, that one's down in the down in the bowl, started to get the hang of it. I haven't shot this a whole lot. I'm just uh, mo mostly working on that can. Um, I haven't done a lot of bullseye work with it. I did shoot a couple of practice shots before I started up the video. All right, I think that's up in that uh, in that same grouping with the first, uh, the, the second and third shot. So, but that's not too bad. Let me, uh, I'm gonna shoot one more. We'll discount that first one because it kind of uh, adjusted my point of aim and brought the rest of them down in. We'll discount that first one and just kind of pay attention to those, the last five. All right, so that, that went into that same hole, same ragged hole again. So anyway, won't make this one too long, but I thought you guys would really appreciate seeing a nice little review on this guy, um, Daisy Model 1140. Um, these are very uncommon. I It's the first one I've ever seen. And uh, this one's in really nice shape. Um, the only other video that I saw on YouTube about these other than the one that I posted last week when I did the mail call was a uh, friend uh, fellow youtuber gold touch look up his channel uh, he's just getting started he's been doing it for a couple years but his subscribers growing slowly so go check out his channel he's got a lot of air gun content a lot of really obscure <laughs> air gun stuff so if you're into really kind of uh, getting into the weeds uh, with old air gun stuff go check out his channel that's pretty cool so but uh, there you go daisy model 1140 clone of a game op 800 no powerhouse no uh, olympic target shooter but still not a bad shooting gun and uh, very uh, uncommon so it's kind of cool to add to the collection Hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon uh, storefront link in the comments or in the description below. And if you click on that link and then go shopping anywhere in Amazon, uh, I will get a commission off of that uh, sale. So several people have already done that. Um, they, I have a, I get a report uh, daily of things that people buy and uh, there's several people buying things uh, that aren't in my storefront and I am getting commissions for those sales too. Several people bought pellets. Somebody bought some underwear. I don't know who did. I don't get a listing of who bought what. I just get a listing of things that were bought and how much commission I make off of each sale. So, but somebody bought some underwear, but mostly people are buying pellets and things like that, uh, air gun related stuff. So, <coughs> but 
I don't care what you buy as long as I get the commission off it. Every little bit helps the channel, keeps cool stuff like this coming in. Till next time, have a great day.